Digit my trap phone. Hit her from the back, I'm breaking her backbone. You buy some work for me, I'm putting tax on. Shoot it in the clip, I'm feeling like tax on. Digit my trap phone. All of my sights on it and they loaded. I hit the big coin and just loaded. Pop me some perks since I'm getting loaded. Digit my trap phone. The fans come, then I'm throwing. What's up, Fox family? Welcome back to my channel. It's like three in the morning. I'm up smoking. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But I figured I'd get some work in. So I figured I'd do a reaction video. JD Youngin just dropped uh, a diss song, actually probably not even an hour ago, called 38K. Before I get into the reaction video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and follow me on all my social media. I would give y'all more energy than this, but it's three o'clock in the fucking morning and I'm hot, okay? Y'all don't, I don't feel like being one of them exciting YouTubers. What's up and all of that. I don't feel like doing none of that shit. Let's just, let's, let's watch the video and see what J.D. Young is talking about. Now, J.D. Young and NBA Youngboy Camp kind of been going back and forth for a while now. And I think everything surfaced. Well, I, I think everything went bad when that po that picture was posted of J.D. Young and, and NBA Youngboy BM. I think that's kind of like what a relationship went bad between them. Because after that, you kind of seen NBA Youngboy comment. J.D. Young had posted a video of, it's a young boy and J.D. Young song out here. And J.D. Young had posted it, you know, just a snippet of it on his gram or whatever. And YB commented on it. You know, on some shit, you feel me? How you get my song and you ain't got, you feel me saying some shit. I don't quite remember what the, what the exact, what he exactly said, but he said some shit up under, um, Jaden Young in post about having that song. And I think since then, their relationship kind of been bad. You see Jaden Young is saying fuck 38 on stage. You see, uh, slight disses and NBA young boy music and his whole camp and baby Joe going on live and talking crazy. And you kind of got the fans tore between both of you guys because I feel like Baton Rouge right now is strong. Like, that, just that whole BR movement that way from Youngin Ace, Jada Youngin, YB, Baby Joe, Quan, you know, Quan. Oh, damn, I was about to. Wow, what's his name? Quando Rondo? I, he from Savannah. But is you all get what I'm saying? That whole movement down there. I really appreciate them guys' music. I really think they make very strong music. Influence wise, I feel like they got the they got the attention of the youth right now. You feel me? Like all them guys I just named, and it's a lot more guys from down there that got the attention right now that that grasp the mass fans and the young urban black guys like myself who listen to all that wild shit. And I appreciate their music. What I don't appreciate. Is a lot of the fans, like a lot of the young boy fans, like it's crazy because if NBA Young Boy was to go shake Jaden Young in hand right now, y'all would jump bandwagon and be a Jaden Young fan again. Like y'all so NBA Young Boy fans just so wishy, like y'all wishy washy, but I can understand because NBA Young Boy is kinda emotionally unstable. So I can understand why y'all as fans are probably emotionally unstable because if they was to make up tomorrow, y'all would be under his, under Jaden Young and Post giving them praises and all that. Cause I just went on this page and seen all the comments y'all leaving. That's like, y'all be on some hating shit, but y'all go listen to him. Y'all uh, make a hating ass comment on Instagram, but then go bang his music. So I just don't get, you know, in that type of, cause NBA young boys seem like a solid, you feel me? Like more of a solid guy to me. So I would think his fans would be a little bit more solid than that. You feel me? And you never know, you know, y'all got the tendency to to really like fuel beef. You feel me? Instead of trying to get these guys together to squash whatever they got, y'all rather see them kill each other or see who's the toughest and who gonna step on who. Instead of just supporting both artists and trying to do y'all best to make them squash it so we can get great music. Wouldn't y'all love to hear Jada Youngie and Youngboy do music? And they the type that probably get together and put out a whole mixtape album just like Jada Youngie and Youngie Ace did. You feel me? Like that's not too far fetched. And I feel like as fans, like y'all just fuel the fire and kind of ruin shit because now this guy ego, y'all feeding his ego, then y'all feeding his ego and both of them got something to prove now. And when they collide and something happen, now we all gonna be, oh man, damn, or rest in peace, this and all that. I just feel like y'all need to cut that lame shit out. Both of them cold, Jaden Young and cold, NBA Youngboy cold, 
both their music cold, both of them consistent, both of them drop ton of videos for y'all, both of them is really pushing hard to be successful, and y'all just be on some weak shit trying to see some drama, like, man, grow the hell up, both of them men got more money than a lot of y'all, and y'all just sitting at home trying to get them to beef, like, man, go get you some money, go meet them, go to their concerts, go support them, make sure y'all stream their music, and do y'all best to be a good fan and stop being a fucking pro. That's all I got to say. And that's coming from real niggas, you know, point of view. You feel me? I fuck with both of them. I listen to both of them. Jay the Young and I kind of, I don't know who I bought more. Young boy be on some shit. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I listen, listen to Young Boy. Like, people be talking about Young Boy and I be like, bro, you don't know how many hours I spent listening to NBA Young Boy. Like, I spent days, weeks, and hours really listening to all his music. Just like Jay the Youngin. You feel me? So, man, that's all I got to say, man. Just be a better fan. Let's make that the title of this video. Be a better fan. Because some of y'all be like, oh, cap. Let's get into the video. Okay, this is Jay the Youngin, 38K Facts Official Music Video. Let's see what he's talking about. And don't dump no asses either. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna get real disrespectful. I don't give a fuck. I'ma speak on all the facts and tell the shit just how it is. I'm in my bag and niggas pissed and plus he mad about a bitch. When I was fucking on this hoe, he was steady asking me about shit and begging me to leave. Hold on. I just said something about that picture of him and, and young boy and, and young boy DM. I haven't heard this yet. I don't know. I thought this was a baby joke disc because I seen it on Instagram. That's why I did it. But, oh, wait a minute. That's say YB. It says, man, text that hoe and just be straight up like you fuck with me. Stop being messy. And I promise as soon as you say that, um, I can't see what that says. Blurry. As soon as you say that, she gonna stop all this shit. Is that young boy trying to talk to Jaden Youngin about Huh. But you know what? Females be on some hot shit, you feel me? So I can I feel, you feel me? I feel why I be on some of that, you feel me? I ain't a nigga who too, you feel me? I don't, you be females, you gotta let them be females. But why be, I feel you. Sometimes, because you know, how can I explain this the good way? A female gonna do shit to get under your skin, especially if y'all if you y'all in love or somebody like your baby mama can really get under your skin. And why not mess with one of your friends or you feel me to get under your skin? And I feel like she probably been doing this for a while. And young boy like, man, I'm so tired of this. You feel me? So I can feel him probably trying to put his man's hip like, bro, she only trying to fuck with you to fuck with me. So just tell her you fuck with me because then she gonna be like, okay. He won his friends, so he, he a loyal friend, you feel me? So I can feel why I be on that. I don't think that's a whole move. It's just funny that he got it in the video of you doing it. Alone, this nigga acting like the bitch. You put that pussy coming on my post. They laughed about that shit. But I was laughing when your baby mom. Was that the comment that I was talking about again? The comment when young boy commented on NBA Young... I mean, nah, I said when NBA Young Boy commented on Jada Young and Post. I I talked about all this shit before. Let me start this over. I just need to shut up and listen, cause I'm I, I want I want to know what's going on now, cause I thought this was about Baby Joe. All the facts and tell the shit just how it is. I'm in my bag and niggas pissed and plus he mad about a bitch. When I was fucking on this hoe, he was steady asking me about shit and begging me to leave alone. This nigga acting like the bitch. You put that pussy coming on my post. They laughed about that shit, but I was laughing when your baby mama gagged all on my dick. This bitch go through trees, bitch. You strap bad. We all got sticks. Like what the fuck you mean? We tryna catch a head and bust his shit. And bust his shit. I'm on that ratchet shit, that savage shit, that acting shit, shit, that, that blood. Look at this dance. Look at this dance he just did. Like, oh, look at this dance. What, what was it? Had him busting shit and busting shit. I'm on that ratchet shit, that savage shit, that acting shit. shit. Act that blow his back out shit, he lacking. Then we clap the then bitch. Clap that hoe you love from Baltimore, she ain't no classic bitch. She try to suck my dick in room 303, the nasty bitch. 223 is good, I old scene, fuck a 38. How many my jeans trying to up the fucking murder? So what I'm getting from this so far, that this is uh, just a... Uh, 38 baby NBA diss. This is not just directed toward baby Joe. Okay. 
second time, speaking on two, three, but you the first to slay. Fuck all the hype, let's take a life and put them in the dirt today. Drake go, tell them to lay low. I say go, my shooter, they gon' take souls. And I know a real step, a shout out K so. And I know a real hoe, they call them baby Joe. Who smoke, we don't go, let me know it from a. There you go. Say, say, put them in the dirt today. Drake go, tell them to lay low. I say go, my shooter, they gon' take souls. And I know a real step. Shout out Queso And I know a real hoe They call him Baby Joe Ooh. Smoke, we don't go Let me know it from that foe Might just flash like a foe Bitch, I'm crush and they know Drop a bag, that's a goal Buy the bag, he gon' blow He say he slime, me ain't my kind I'm tryna wipe that nigga nose I'm on that ratchet shit That savage shit, that acting shit That blow his back out shit He lacking, do we clap the bitch Do we give Do we, is J.D. Youngie lyrical to y'all? I don't know if he's lyrical. I kind of like his melodies. I don't, but I, I don't consider him to be too lyrical. I consider him to be, and I actually think NBA Youngboy is not that lyrical. I just feel like he just talk real shit. And I feel like Jaden Youngin is just melodic, got a good melodic sound, and he found a way to kind of, you know, like when you listen to him, it, it, it's catchy. You feel me? He found his own little way. And I feel like NBA Youngboy just talk from like a, um, a point of like pain and like just real like what's really going on in his life you feel me kind of like ride wave you feel me like he actually talked from that part of pain so i think that's why a lot of people gravitate towards nba young boy and just like them br guys just all of them br guys you feel me because i feel like they talk about a lot of stuff that go on day to day you feel me and i feel like you know, it's just it's it's incredible to me to see all these young guys with so many problems so many things happen cause so many cases me not being, I'm not too much older than them, but me just looking on the outside in, like uh, the whole situation that happened with Young and Ace and all his friends dying and all that, like just to see like younger guys than me go through way more than me, it's kind of, you feel me? I think that's why I'm kind of gravitating and kind of locked in on it because I'm like, we we never looked at like teenagers or young guys' life to be this hard, you feel me? Like I had it hard coming up. But, like, some of the shit I be seeing, I be like, okay, yeah, I done been through some shit. But I ain't never was in the car with all my friends and everybody in the car died except for me. You, I've never been through that. And I feel like 90% of the world never been through that. So I feel like you're going to always, that's a story you always going to want to, it attracts you, you feel me? And I feel like that's a lot of the guys from down there, you feel me? Their story just uh, is, uh, attracts you because you're like, man, what the fuck is going on down there? That hoe you love from Baltimore, she ain't no classic bitch. She try to suck my dick in room 303, the nasty bitch. 223 is still the whole scene, fuck a 38. Hammer in my jeans, tryna up the fucking murder. It's your second time, speaking on 23, bitch, you the first to slay. Fuck all the hype, let's take a life and put them in the dirt today. Come on. Okay, now that the video is over, like I said, the song is not, um, I wouldn't say it's one of his best songs. I just think yeah, we we going to like it because it's kind of a direct diss, you feel me? But it's not like quality wise. I know he can make better quality music. I know it just sounded like something he just read in the studio and wanted to hurry up and put out, which was a great idea why you and Baby Joe going back and forth. So, you know, good publicity all Good, bad, everything, is you feel me? Good or bad, publicity is good, you feel me? So, with that being said, it don't sound like you mixed it too well. The video, just like basically all y'all videos from down that way, a house full of young, teenage, young 20-year-old guys with their shirts off and the ceiling fan going because it's probably hot as hell in them houses that y'all be using. And I'll be... It, it be a lot going on, you feel me? It be too hot in them houses, all them guns, it's pit bull puppies running around. Like, it be a lot going on in y'all videos, you feel me? But, like I said, man, it's I don't condone these two guys dissing because I feel like together they would be more of a bigger force. Just like how we seen with Jada Youngin and Youngin Ace, you feel me? We seen them come together and become a big force. So I feel like I'd rather see Young Boy and Jay come together and be a big force than... All this back and forth, man, because I feel like y'all got it right now, and y'all ain't had it. Like, this the biggest that the BR down that way. This the biggest y'all ever had it. And I feel like y'all kind of, this, y'all should show the world, like, 
You feel me? It's a lot of things that came out of there. You feel me? You got guys like Kevin Gates and you got Wayne and you got all of them that came up out of, up out of that way. You feel me? So it ain't like y'all ain't. But I'm talking about the younger crowd. You feel me? Back when you little, you feel me? It's, 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 a, it's a, We can all agree that Baton Rouge was, it was a market. We got a couple guys out of there. Boosie, Webby, Webby. We got a lot of guys out of there. But like when it comes to like the young guys, nah. I feel like Young Boy and them just took it to a whole nother level when it comes to he the number one streamed artist on YouTube. You know how big YouTube is? So you gotta think about things like that, man. And I just rather see them together. Feel me? And both of their numbers go crazy. They views and stream numbers are crazy. I would love to see these guys link up on the full project instead of beefing, but that's just my opinion. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. Follow me on all my social media. I had to give y'all a reaction. I'm about to get back to these L's over here in my backwoods. And I'll catch y'all in a minute, man. Fox family, what up?